tested on a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm glad I put that car in Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Putin doesn't care. He, 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 he really he, doesn't give a shit. No, he, he doesn't. Really he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't give a shit. He, and he's going to be president for life. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Unless his term limit expires, then he'll go back to being prime minister for four years, then be president. That's right. <laughs> He, and, 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 and he'll change the regulation on term limits. And if there's a yeah, if there's a limit, he'll get past that. He Crimea should prove that he doesn't give a shit. No. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's top. That's like topical for like three months ago. Yeah, I know. We're dating ourselves now. We're, yeah, I date. <laughs> I would sexy, date sexy date. Scott Martin. That's right. Sexy, got the, you got your own cards against humanity card. Name I was in the paper yesterday, yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, I saw that. Fuckers? Yeah, motherfuckers. Then you see that I shared it on Facebook? Yes. All right, there you go. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Hi, Stone Mighty, the Fuzz. We're at Fuzz's Round Table, and we're going to take a take a look at a beer he's probably not going to like. Nah. <laughs> Frank. I think it's the last one for right now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So we're gonna take a look at a beer. I'm a local celebrity, damn it! Bring the beers that I like over to my house. Soon, fuzzball. Soon, soon. All right, we're gonna take a look at actually a, a new product in New Brunswick liquor stores that recently showed up after the Atlantic Canada Beer Festival. Oh, or Atlantic that's a Beer really Festival. big bottle. <laughs> that is, is a really big bottle, but it, it is, is a liter bottle. Resealable. Wait, wait, wait. So they this is the first time I've seen this, but they put it, they capped it. Yeah. And then yeah. they put a resealable and then they on put there. The cork, the so why didn't they just use the, the resealable cork in the first place? Because it's not quite as good. It won't last as long with that. Really? Yeah. No, not yeah, quite. no, as soon as the oxygen gets into it, it's gonna go off and also go flat. Eventually, but Eventually. that'll slow it down. It'll slow it down. It, it's basically so if you're gonna drink this over the next couple days, then you recap it, put it in your fridge. It'll probably last like two or three days. Yeah. It's like a growler. But this is, yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this stuff. Yeah. No, well, they're pretty much the only more in your fridge it. by the same company. But this is How oh. Sounds Cloudburst Lemongrass IPA. White IPA. Ooh. Ooh. This is imported into the USA by, okay. I'm not quite sure what happened not, there. Yeah, maybe they were originally intending this to be imported into the US market, but it wound up up here. It's 6% ABV. So did it go to the US and then back? Maybe. So that, so it got double imported? Yep. Mm. Climate Cloudburst Lemongrass White IPA, a refreshing white and unfiltered IPA with a bold citrus aroma and crisp light body. Brewed with a mix of white wheat and two row barley, this beer gains its aroma from the addition of lemongrass, ooh, uh, Centennial and Amarillo Hot, named for Mount Cloudburst, to, 1871 meters high, a prominent peak at the southern end of the Squamish Val Valley Chicamus Divide. So this is where your cheeks divide. Oh, yes. 65 IBUs, 14.2 Play-Doh, 1.057 specific gravity, three glasses of glory in every bottle. Hey, there's just enough for everybody. It, it, yeah, I three full glasses. Glass. I want to point something out. It actually, I don't want a full on, glass either. On the, side <laughs> of the, on the side of the bottle, it says strong ale. Yeah, it does. It is a strong it ale. It is a strong ale. I thought you said it was an IPA. It is an IPA. Sejourne. Ooh. Ooh, that's got an interesting smell to it. Now, when you say interesting... <laughs> well, you smelled lemongrass before, right? I, I've cooked with lemongrass before. Well, there you go. Thai like wheat had lemongrass. There's a restaurant in St. John called Lemongrass. Lemongrass, yeah. Mm, it's true. Actually, I was talking to one of my Peppers. new managers at, at the office. Hey! Coaster! Coaster! Anyway, I was talking to one of my new managers. He's from Newfoundland. Yeah. He said, Where's there a good good place to eat in St. John? I'm like, uh, yeah. crap ton. So he says, he says, you you tell me where to go, and I will buy you lunch there. Yeah, nice, nice. Ooh, Ooh, free, free lunch. lunch, free lunch. Sweet. So you guys got a lot more head than I did. That's I knew that joke was coming. That's, <laughs> there's some floaties in here too. Look at them. Look floaties? Look Holy them. fuck! Look at them float. That's some floaties, all right. Wow, there's a lot. It's of like a snow globe. It's like sewage. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to drink the beer anymore. <laughs> it's I like sewage. Like, oh, we just put it like on the little deck. little bits of toilet paper floating in there. That's. I like my snow globe. It's actually so much better. But just now, <laughs> oh, my it's ruined. So <laughs> ruined. So this is a glass of snots. Why do you have to ruin everything? <laughs> Sorry. Just see, just, see now. You know what I see now? <laughs> I see them with a bottle. Just at the sewage pipe where it's going into the, like into the pond, and they're just like filling it up. Cap, fill it up. I hate cap. Mm, hey, let you it both. ferment. Secondary fermentation. I hate you both so Sorry, much. Alright, alright. <laughs> so, my head's gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, golden appearance. Floaties. Grassy, very light. And a Lacing. lot of floaties. We're not... Look, we're, I, oh look, at, the, look at the head I still got. Wow. It's lemongrassy for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Big lemongrass coming off of that. Maybe like a not, sweet... Not... Listen, mm -hmm. it, for, an, for an IPA, not offensive. Nice. Like a sweet bread coming through. Yep. That. Yep. I, I, not Touch bad. of sourdough or something. Yeah. What? I'm waiting for you to clean my glass so I can drink it. Alright, cool. Down the hatch. No. Mm. Sure doesn't taste like sewage. Yes, it does. To you, it does. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get you frustrated and leave the table. Right? Like fuck you, rage flip, Gunk. rage quit. Yeah. I'll force quit your ass. <laughs> no, it's uh, it has a little bit of pine in it. So you logger boy fans, do I have logger boy fans? No, no, you have no fans. You have no fans. To your logger boy fans. Not on my show. Anyway. A little bit of pine. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? It's not bad. Um. It, yeah, you get that that lemongrass, a little bit of like an earthy hop kind of thing. It is a pretty intense bitterness. Touch of citrus. It yep. is very strong bitter. That then, 65 IBUs, I think, might even be downplayed a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially the aftertaste at the very back of the back of the tongue. It's not I'd a lot of malt to balance out the hops. I'd, I'd say I mean, it's malt, not bad. Yeah, they, they. I feel like they might have relied too much on the lemongrass, which works, but could have used some more malt, malt to back it up. Mm. Um, I don't hate it. I, I I'm mean, not in love with it. You could call it imbalanced, but I think that it's there's it, it, if there's any little bit of imbalance, it's more like it's teetering. It's not bad. I it's mean, it's bad, smooth and drinkable, and chances are you'll be able to finish that bottle, maybe. Oh my goodness! Not I, not I, there's sitting. a lot of beer, not in one sitting. Um, I'd want to move on and try something else. Uh, you do some me. spicy food, I'd say. Yeah, like Thai food. Yeah, be good with Thai food. Hmm. Like from lemongrass. Like from lemongrass. They should, should really pick this up. Shameless pug. Look. Shameless self. Shameless promotion. pug. Wait, wait. Is this in St. John? <coughs> yeah, this. We got this. You got this at the liquor store nearby, didn't you? Yeah, Parkway. Hmm. They should definitely go over to. They set some aside for me just in case because I was a little panicky that they. Did they really? Yeah. Instead, they ordered in like a hundred bottles. Yeah, I know. I was maybe overreacting a bit. Yeah, you were. Well, they, some of them they, they only have. Like, some of them they only had like a dozen in. I, I bought the other three and I bought them within the last two weeks, so there's tons left. I mean. Some of the true to the apple was getting low. Some of the true to the apple was like not too high to start with, so I was just like, you know what, I'm not. I'm just. I, I asked them and they wouldn't sell them to me because they were it was, wasn't coming up before the beer fest. But mm. so they, is, set, they is, set aside a whole case for me. It was very nice of them. Is, MB is, Liquor has been really trying. Yeah, to that, they've been doing some impressive work lately. That I was my know. question. Are they doing actually pretty good? They yes. they they have gone from like maybe like the third worst liquor commission in Canada to maybe like the second best. It's been really an impressive change. I'm. I'm absolutely floored by the change in attitude. Yeah, other than Alberta, we're not we're getting close to being the second behind Ontario. Yeah, well, I mean, in terms of provincial liquor commissions, yeah, you know, probably like the second best as as far as selection, right? Yeah, yeah, we're getting really close to Ontario at this point. But he, but and the case is awesome. relative to population, yes. Yeah. Right? Now the the case is that I think they really realized that craft brew has a market taken, has a market. Yeah, and it's taken off. Anyway, cheers, MB Liquor. Cheers. We haven't given any ratings yet. Oh yeah, uh, three point two five. Three point two five. Three and a half. Three and a half. What do you think? One point seven five. One point seven five. All right. So if you do your if you do your fuzz double fuzz, score, do your fuzz math. Not bad. Do your fuzz grill you know, on your your your, your, your on, on your notepad there, boys and girls. <laughs> on your conversion scale. <laughs> the slider scale is like that's only three points for fuzz that he didn't like it, which is you know a little lower than average, but he liked it okay. Ish. Good night. Sure. Right. Good night. Cheers. Talk to you folks later. Cheers. Cheers.